Hello again, my fellow abnormals. So this video is actually very important, especially compared to the last one. Purely because this is like, this is like a reminder of my main focus for I was doing this to begin with. Because again, I have no idea if anyone else watches these, or if anyone else gains from these. But it's important that I do, because this was a challenge I took upon myself. I am not wearing any makeup. At all. And for me, that's a big deal. The whole reason I started this was so that I can work on understanding and accepting people are how they are and I am how I am and that's the end of it. I, I believe so strongly in improvement and trying to make your life as good as you want and be whoever you want to be and work until you become that person. But there comes a point where you have to start accepting yourself for who you are. It's a very thin line of do you like yourself and trying to be a person that you like but you have to accept who you are and then become a better person and I believe that I can do both at the same time and I just focus so much more on becoming the person I want to be that whenever I'm not that person right now I get really upset and really discouraged and it's it's so it's so stupid because it's it's painful and it causes me a lot of agitation and anxiety and it's part of this all this came up because right after I finished filming or recording my last video I felt all of a sudden like weird like what if someone I know sees them it's not if someone I know sees them then fine I shouldn't be embarrassed of doing something that I believe is good you know it goes back to that place where like sometimes we get embarrassed because we do things that people don't view as socially acceptable or socially normal or, or the norm it's, and just because it's not the norm doesn't mean it's not good and doesn't mean it's not something positive that we we can accept and that we like. I like who I am and I'm a little eccentric and a little weird sometimes and I have my weird little outbursts of like weird accents but you know what that's how I am and I like that. I like making people laugh, I like making other people happy and I don't think there's anything wrong with that and sometimes other people's judgments and other people's glares make you second guess yourself and, and doubt that. But people that look at you and judge you for, for doing something that you think is positive, you don't need them in your life. Not just not because you know you don't you need to be with people that are like you and not like and be and not accept other people who are different. No, not because of that at all. Because you shouldn't be with people that make you feel bad about who you are. But then it comes a question of how much is that the other person's action? How much of that is you allowing someone else to impact you that way? You know, I don't know how many people really like me or judge me. I just know that I feel judged a lot. And whether it's real or whether it's not, I have to just focus on not giving a shit. I have to decide, or I have decided what I view is important and what I view is essential in my life. And those are the things I stick to. And if some people don't like them, some people don't like them. I'm the only constant in my life. The only one that will be there for when I wake up and when I go to sleep, when I was born and when I will die. And other people's opinions can be like guides if we want to survive in our society, but... That's it, guys. You have to be the one to make the decision. You have to be the one to navigate. And right after I fell in the last video, I felt judged by some phantom person who I might know that might see this. But who? That's the whole reason I did this, to get over that. I don't like fears and I don't like weaknesses in myself. If I see something I don't like, I work on it because I want to be the person I want to be and, and be happy and content in my life. And that's why the second I felt self-conscious, I decided to film another video reminding myself of why I was doing this. I'm taking it upon myself to, right now, I just filmed a video that I'm pub publishing to the world, even though I don't think that many people will watch it. Who knows? You really never know. Okay? But it's just about the fact that I'm doing that to myself. I'm putting myself out there like that because it's normal. I don't have perfect skin and I have bags under my eyes and and, and I'm a little chubby boop doo 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 like I'm human and I I look at the world and I think like where do we decide that it's better to be cookie cutted models with perfect skin and, and and perfection all around us the exact who decided perfection was no blemishes and and being 30 pounds underweight like who who made that decision and why are we such lambs and we just follow it? And, you know, like, I don't, I'm not saying that I'm not, I'm going to stop being so conformed because let's be honest, I know that I'm not. But I think it's important that I become aware and accept the fact that it, 
it's someone else's guidelines for life and I don't have to accept them. And I thought this was important. So that I can remind myself next time I forget about this shit. And if anyone else hears this and anyone else is helped by this, then amazing. I'm so happy that I was able to help you. In any case, goodbye. Have an amazing weekend. And remember, just fucking be yourself. Because you can't be anyone else. Because someone else already exists. Bye.